Welcome to the Heritage Hall, owned by the Guelph Black Heritage Society. This structure was built in 1880 as the Guelph British Methodist Episcopal Church. As you can see above the door is a plaque. This plaque reads BME Church 1880. At the right front driveway corner, if you look four blocks up, you can see the stone mason's mark. It looks like a backward seven on a shield. In 2012, the Guelph Black Heritage Society purchased the church to preserve its historical significance and to create a cultural, historical, and social center for Guelph and Wellington County. To recognize this vision, the building was renamed Heritage Hall. In 2013, it was designated by the City of Guelph as a building of cultural heritage value for its link to Guelph's historic sand culture association with Black history, its architectural merit as a fine example of Gothic revival style, and its contextual presence within the historical settlement area of Guelph's Black population. The Freedom Project was completed in 2020. This project allows universal accessibility into the Heritage Hall. This addition includes a wheelchair ramp, vestibule, and accessible washroom. The glass block tiles at the back of the building spell out the word freedom in Braille. The Heritage Hall was made to seat 300. The original congregation was only 40 people and they would have sat in wooden pews. There is original glass from the 1880s at the top of the windows you see. A podium still exists from the 1950s with Gothic moldings and sits right outside in our hallway. This newly refurbished space is the Heritage Hall Theatre. In the words of Denise, our president, it is a place for creating opportunities for emerging minority and marginalized voices to explore their stories and to find opportunities to share them in the Canadian arts landscape. The Heritage Hall provides space for live events. In addition, with new equipment, it includes a portable stage, seating, lighting, and sound equipment. New to Heritage Hall is an AV equipment setup, enabling virtual events to be broadcasted in the newly renovated space. The building is currently used by faith and community groups to host their meetings and services. In order to honor our ancestors, a mosaic tile art display, which depicts nine of the Underground Railroad quilt code patterns, has been installed in the foyer of the new addition at the back of the Heritage Hall. The Underground Railroad quilt code patterns contained secret messages that helped direct slaves in their journey to a free land in the 1830s. The new rehearsal studio is available for rent and designed to be a safe studio space for inclusive rehearsal. The wall hanging at the back is from Barbados, donated by the Guelph Caribbean Canadian Association. The downstairs area includes a kitchenette and equipment such as a PA system, full drum kits, a piano, a keyboard, and microphones. This is the Flora Francis Library of Black Literature. The late Flora Francis was a founding board member and a librarian who worked at the University of Guelph. Miss Francis had a passion for education and was a champion in promoting the works of Black authors and educators. This space will contain resource materials and works of Black authors and books significant to the Black community. The pump organ, located in the Flora Francis Library, is a Sherlock Manning type from London, Ontario. The pump is a reed organ made from fumed oak installed in 1927. An antique hoe from Nigeria was used during the groundbreaking ceremony for the Freedom Project. The hoe has now been installed in the Flora Francis Library of Black Literature at the Heritage Hall. The introduction of iron tools, such as the hoe, introduced a revolution in the agriculture of the continent, a major economic transformation. The Freedom Project represents a major transformation of the Heritage Hall and the ability for the building to be universally accessible for all.